So in this video, I want to introduce you to a design tool called Figma, which you're definitely going to be taking advantage of during your web design career. So I've included a link that's going to take you to this figma.com forward slash community page. And this is the design that I actually recreated for this web design project. The community is a fantastic place that you can find lots of designs completely for free and you can piggyback on them when you're creating your own designs in future. So I have actually installed the app and I recommend that you also do the same thing. Figma is completely free and it's something that you're definitely going to use a lot as you develop as a designer. So you just sign up with your Google account and you should be able to just log into the app. So I'm going to hit open this design in Figma and it can work in the browser. As you'll see here, I'm in a design tool here, but I actually prefer to use the desktop app because I find that the plugins that we're going to use work a little bit better. So I'm just going to switch across to the same design in my app version. So this is on my device. So what I'm going to do is click on the frame that I'm interested in, which is called home in this case. And I can come up here where it has resources. So it's kind of like a square with a plus and a diamond. And I can click in here and go to plugins. And as you can see, just typed in Framer and I come to this Framer to HTML with Figma to HTML with Framer plugin. And if I click on that, it's going to run this plugin. And you can see at the bottom of the screen here that it's copying layers. And what it's going to do, it's going to copy this entire design for me and copy it to my clipboard. So I just have to say as here, paste in Framer. So I'm going to come back to the browser, come over to our new project. So I've created a new project called Breakpoints and you can do the same from your dashboard. I'm just going to click on the desktop and then control V. Now it does take a couple of seconds to register. Sometimes uh, you'll have to do it multiple times, but because we've copied about 700 layers, it's going to take a couple of seconds, couple of minutes perhaps, to paste the design onto our uh, framer build. And you can see we're 77%, 90%, and there we go. So you might think, wow, it looks a bit weird. All we have to do is make the desktop width match our design width. So come back to the design in Figma, and I can see on the width here that it's using 1440. So if I come back to our desktop, I'm going to change the width here to 1440. We can see that we're getting the full width now. I'm not going to just zoom in so you can see it a little bit more clearly. And then I'm also going to change our height from fixed to be fit content. And that way it's going to extend and fit all of the content that we've just pasted in. And as you can see, we have got a full, beautiful website that I've just taken from Figma for free. So isn't this incredible? We've got the full design exactly as it was designed in Figma. So this is a really nice shortcut that we can use to create a website extremely quickly, uh, especially if you can find something from Figma community page. And the nice thing about Figma is that I can go in here and edit things however I want. So let's say, for example, it's a different brand, you've got a different logo or different colors. What you could quite simply do is just replace all of the colors and the text and the content and just keep the layout and the style, copy it and then paste it into Framer. And you can actually put it online by clicking publish. So let's do that. I'm going to hit publish. And now I can go to this website and this is live on the internet. So I can just copy this link and I can send that link to my boss, my client, or whoever's interested in having this website and send them a live version of their website extremely quickly. It's going to get you really good feedback from your clients and it also allows them to see things quickly. The only issue is it's not really done yet. So you might think, wow, Framer is incredible. I can get all this stuff done. But you'll see that none of the elements are currently interactive. So none of the links are working. The buttons do not work. And unfortunately, the biggest issue is that it is not responsive. So some aspects of this are responsive, but you can see that the navigation bar is not working. Everything is overlaying itself. Things are not visible on mobile. So that is what the challenge is today. We're going to convert this 
uh, website into a responsive version. But hopefully you found at least this part interesting using that Figma to Framer plugin. It is incredible. It's such a good time saver and you're going to understand how you can use it more efficiently than just copying and pasting the entire thing. So let's jump into that in the next video.